So, recognition to these factors has resulted into the second wave of positive psychology. It talks about accepting and confronting reality of life with courage and life has both negative and positive, life has both celebration and suffering. Sustainable well-being can be achieved by appreciating and embracing both of these. That is the recognition of the second wave of positive psychology. Next thing is recognizing that everything in life comes in polarities and importance of achieving an adaptive balance through dialectic. In the second wave of positive psychology, there is a greater recognition that learning can be drawn from indigenous psychologies, Indian tradition, Maori traditions, many traditions in Africa and many other traditions across the world have great insights about managing self and managing life those insights needs to be distilled, can be presented and examined with the scientific methods and they are the great reservoirs of the insights which can enrich the positive psychology. This recognition is also there in the second wave of positive psychology. So, in nutshell, it is about five aspects. Number one, it helps us to accept and make peace with past. That is for sure. How to move on from the trauma? This science can help us to know more about it and to practice that. It helps us to look at life with optimism. Life as such is an opportunity for growth. That fact is non-disputable and that is established in the positive psychology. It allows us to appreciate present, it makes us to appreciate hold on to what is good in life. There are many methods like gratitude, appreciative inquiry, they are the result of positive psychology movement and they are very effective to make us appreciate the present. It helps us to look beyond momentary pleasure and pains of life. It helps us to move beyond pains. It has strengthened our knowledge that there is a possibility of growth, there is a possibility of flourishing which can pass through the paths of pain and anxieties and insecurities and vulnerabilities. It also helps us to recognize that behind the apparent pleasure, there is a greater reality and pleasure is not the ultimate thing in life. It helps us to be grateful and it helps us to be forgiving because without being grateful, we cannot experience many other positive emotions. We cannot appreciate life, we cannot appreciate relationships and without forgiving, we cannot move on in our life and that is where positive psychology can be of great help. The meaning of positive is not absence of negative, rather it refers to things that we value in life such as joy, peace, perseverance, courage, forgiveness, gratitude and Indian culture has the words like harsh, santi, dhairya, chamashilata, kritagyata, one must understand these things does not come automatically by fighting anxiety, sadness, hatred, jealousy and other negative emotion. They have to be inculcated in itself, in its, in its own right and that is where the greatness of Buddha comes. He was the great master who emphatically told that as you have learned hatred, anger 
and anxieties, you can learn compassion and friendliness. In life, it is difficult to separate positive and negative aspects. Emotions occur concurrently and even traumatic event in life can lead to great personal development. This statement is not there to discount positive psychology, because this recognition result into only strengthening the field of positive psychology, where it can not only look at positive experiences, but can also look at the traumatic experiences as opportunity for personal growth resulting into flourishing. In terms of adversaries and challenges, positive emotions have to be identified, have to be cultivated and nurtured and that is where again the role of positive psychology comes. Positive in positive psychology teach us to aim for things we want and move away with acceptance of things we do not want. It gives us clarity about the life purpose. It gives us clarity about the experiences we are seeking. It gives us clarity about how and what kind of life we wish to live. It completes the field of psychology. It completes the reflection about life and about career. And it is not only about individual. It is about individual experience and characteristics and about which we all are talking since last, uh, uh, are talking in this lecture. It is also about positive institutions and communities. Context is extremely important. Positivity emerges in a social context. We can create social context, we can create social reality which provoke positivity, which inspire positivity in individual human beings. So, it is about experiences, characteristic and also about the institutions and communities.